teaching your kids sound financial skills now will help them down the road as adults. Uh, that's the subject at hand today. CTV News' chief financial commentator, Patty Lovett-Reed, joins us now from our downtown studios. This is a good one, Patty, because you got to start soon, right? Because it's going to pay off. You know, you do. And, and this topic actually came about because our daughter Jane said someone came up to her and said, hey, your parents seem to do OK. You must be doing really well, too. And she said, anything my parents have done, that's for them. I have to make it on my own. And you sort of sit back and you think, wow, all of a sudden you realize all those skills earlier on that you really tried to embed started to work. So I went out and I spoke to a lot of financial advisors and I said, exactly what do you think about allowances? And, and they came back from a parent's perspective there are going to be chores that kids have to do in the family but maybe you want to compensate them for other chores so they get an idea of what to do with money but as a parent think about what's going on in the real world you're gonna pay on time you're gonna pay for performance maybe bonuses are going to be allowed but also you're gonna deduct pay if the job's not done so create it like a business transaction you know I like that very much if you haven't earned it then you don't get paid. No, you don't. No, you <laughs> we don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. What about ages here? You know, when should allowance start, do you think? When do we start this process of teaching our kids about money? Well, I do think the sooner the better, because all of a sudden when you do have children saying, let's go and get this. I want this. I need this right now. And they start to understand that mom and dad just are really a bank. Then you start to say, okay, let's introduce a concept. And, and some of that can happen as early as as four, five years old, here's what you're going to pay for and here's what we're going to pay for. I found it very interesting and a lot of financial planners reinforce this with me that children get really savvy with their money really quickly oh, when yeah. it's their own money that they're spending. Oh, isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they have to buy the new pair of jeans. Right, yeah. or at least ante up some money yeah. so they get the designer jeans that they want. Well, exactly, and it shows them that money really doesn't uh, grow <laughs> on trees. Yeah. It is hard though as a parent or a child giver, uh, especially if you, you know, have some money, um, right. to not give, you know, when you have it, you know, to not yeah. give them what they want. It's a real kind of delicate balance for some. You know, it's hard to say no when you can afford to say yes. It's hard to say no to your children, even if you can't afford it, because everyone wants the best for their children. Yeah. But by raising children that are somewhat spoiled, uh, you, you take away their ability to feel really confident that they can accomplish things. Uh, you know, summer jobs, classic example. I know youth unemployment's really tough, but I do think children need to go out there and look for jobs. Rejection, it's part of life. It's how they deal with it. Starting at the bottom of volunteering their services. I have found it fascinating to watch the number of kids who came back to me and said, I can't find a job. And I'm going, hmm, maybe the entrepreneurial spirit should be alive and well. And you can rake leaves, cut grass, wash windows. And, and it's really fascinating to see how different paths can be taken because they took that one step to say, okay, I've got to do something this summer. Absolutely. You know what? It was really interesting, Patty, and I love the story you told about your daughter uh, out the outset because we spoke to Anderson Cooper uh, recently, mm -hmm. and of course his mother is Gloria Vanderbilt, yeah. and uh, so many assumptions were made about him and being a trust fund baby, and I said to him, I thought that. I always thought that. And he said, that's my mom's money. That's yeah. not my money, and I'm proud of the fact that I earned my own way. There are lessons to be learned when you we set this stuff out the right way early on. I'm just going to end with this, Marcy. Uh, we, we are not like Gloria Vanderbilt's family, <laughs> not even close. I wasn't uh, trying to make that connection. But oh, but know. I wish. Oh, but I wish. But, <laughs> but I do like the fact that, you know what? Yeah, they got it. They got it early on. That's what matters, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> A lot more in the blog. A lot more on the blog, and that's what I was just about to say. Thanks, Patty's Marcy. blog entry is excellent. It's available on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.